Hey there, precious metal stackers. Liberty Bleeds here, sharing my journey with the community and everyone else who might be interested. Hope you guys are all doing great today. This should be a good one. It's uh, it's basically a part two and, uh, and, and uh, a conclusion as well. And we're going to answer the question of, uh, which I titled this video, Can Silver Lose Its Luster in Less Than 24 Hours? Uh, we will conclude with the answer to that, at least my answer to it. Uh, I need to give you guys a little bit of a backstory. Uh, this is a topic uh, that I stumbled onto from a video that, um, well, this guy, Austrian Stacker made. I'll put the link in that as well. And I read some of the comments in there, and it, the comments are about, well, about Pressburg Mint and Germanium Mint. And we're going to get into the Germanium Mint uh, portion of it, which is uh, what I kind of stumbled onto. Let me give you some backstory. Uh, this is Austrian Stacker. This is where it all begins, uh, why I created these two videos. And uh, you might want to go back. I'll put the link. Or actually, I have now. <laughs> put the link uh, in the description below to go watch the first video that I did about these, uh, which I have uh, really, really enjoyed. But uh, we need to explore this a little bit more. So Austrian Stacker is a fine gentleman. He lives in Austria. Uh, I consider him a, a wonderful friend, um, a very knowledgeable man. Uh, he's studied and collected coins uh, and uh, precious metals, bars, rounds, everything for uh, for quite a long time, a good portion of his life, I believe. And uh, I find him extremely knowledgeable on the subject, uh, or many of the subjects. And uh, I, I take his, uh, his opinion... Uh, I, I, I take his opinion uh, because I believe he knows what he's talking about. Um, yeah, he just actually, real quick shout out, uh, he's up to 3.5 thousand followers now. Just recently, last few days, he uh, broke that milestone. Congratulations, right on, Austrian. Thank you, man. Uh, you deserve it. Uh, you deserve many, many more, 10 times that or more. Uh, so let's get into this Germania coins. Now, okay, this is kind of funny. I, I, uh, I, I printed this out, and yeah, this this is for people like me uh, approaching uh, this their their silver years, the senior citizens. Yes, this is large font. <laughs> I wish I wish the instructions on my printer were this big, and I wouldn't have made it. Look, it even printed the background, the shading. Uh, it took ten minutes to come out, but this is about allegories, and we're gonna get into that in just a minute too. And the allegories I'm talking about are like here we have uh, Austria and Germania. Two ladies that represent, well, what does that definition say? Allegory. It's a noun. Uh, it's pronounced allegory. Uh, synonyms of, uh, okay, that's another thing to click on. The ex Number one, the expression by means of symbolic fictional figures and actions of truths or generalizations about human existence. Also, an instance as in a story or painting, or maybe even a coin, of such expression. Uh, the poem is an allegory of love and jealousy. There's an example. And then it cut off, because I don't know how to use my printer right yet, a symbolic representation or emblem. That's what that says in the very bottom. So, uh, yeah, that's what an allegory is. And, well, look, we here in the United States, we have an allegory. We sure do. You all know her. We all know her. That's Lady Liberty right there. And is she an allegory? She sure is. And uh, France sent over the uh, Statue of Liberty to us. They actually created her out of... I'll do it right, out of copper. And uh, that's what's sitting on Ellis Island is an effigy of Lady Liberty, who is an allegory. Um, also, that's a, this is a real coin. You know, this is uh, from 1921. Yeah, it's a little dirty and uh, a little none worse for the wear, but uh, it's pretty pretty decent example. I have three, or no, four Morgan dollars now. Uh, here's another. Here's another allegory. I think we all know her, or most of us do. If you don't, uh, you should learn about her. That's Lady Britannia. And, uh, yeah, she's on coinage. This is real. Uh, this is actually legal tender. Uh, we don't use it because it's worth a lot more than what's printed on it. But uh, the denomination, of course, she's an allegory. Uh, and now the Germanium Mint has used allegories. Here we have uh, Austria and Germania. And here we have Polonia and Germania. And Polonia is from Poland. Of course, Austria is from Austria. And uh, we have Germania herself uh, with her, um, I believe that's her hunting eagle. 
Uh, yeah, and then with the bicephalus uh, eagles on her shield, uh, lots of beautiful symbolism and imagery uh, here on these rounds. These are rounds. Well, you know what? It says five marks. Well, but it's not. It's not. And they're really beautiful. They're gorgeous. And that's why I picked them up because I really love symbolism. But the more I learn about it, I'll tell you what. Ignorance, it truly is bliss. Because until you learn something, or at least for me, until I learned something, I did not even know what ignorance is bliss meant. Um, what, what it means is <laughs> when, when you learn something that you can't really unlearn, well, then your eyes are opened and the veil's been lifted. And now you know. And so the problem that uh, Austrian Stacker has with uh, the Germania Mint, which is actually in Poland, by the way, is... Uh, you know, he, he's a very proud man, and he should be. Uh, he's very proud of his heritage, as I am. Uh, I have the Griffins here from my family tr uh, coat of arms. Uh, and it means a lot to him. Uh, it's what he believes and what he feels. And uh, this is very important to him. So he he's not really happy with the way these coins, uh, which Germania Mint was started in 1986, how they portray these allegories. And that this is, this is what I gleaned from our conversations. And uh, the symbolism they use... Uh, to him and to me now, it, it uh, it's a heraldic heresy. It, it really is. Uh, they're using these incorrectly. And, uh, to say he was, uh, less than thrilled, Austrian stacker, uh, now we got to go a little deeper. He, he's, he's not just less than thrilled. He's, uh, he's very unappreciative of how they use these symbols because it's kind of like, Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, you know, it, it's it's demeaning, demeaning. It's losing the value of what these symbolize, and that's kind of sad to me. So, thanks for hanging out and uh, checking this out and learning about these with me. I, I really love the design. I think they're beautiful, but they've lost their luster. Yeah, just in the last twenty four hours. I mean, technically, they, they may have because of uh, weathering. You know, you probably minute amount. You can't even measure uh, scientifically. But in my mind, in my heart, these have lost their luster. Uh, I, I don't want to influence anyone. Uh, I just want to let everyone know what's going on and uh, what I've learned and what I feel and what I believe. And uh, I won't be collecting these anymore. No. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these. But uh, I just kind of want to do... Uh, share that with you all. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here today. Please uh, like, uh, comment, share, and uh, most of all, stay shiny, you all. There's a lot more to collect out there. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot more to collect and uh, whew, something to think about. Have a great day, y'all. Peace out. Ciao.